Hey guys, welcome back to 3D Print Farm. Do you know the number one complaint about resin printers? If you guessed the smell, you'd be absolutely correct. Well today, we are going to talk about how to reduce the smell coming out of our Inucubic Photon. It's an easy fix. If you have a 3D printer or if you have an Inucubic Photon, which I'm sure you have an Inucubic Photon because who doesn't have the Inucubic Photon if you're watching this video? So, stay tuned. Coming out right now. Okay guys, we're back. Welcome back to 3D Print Farm. Today we're going to talk about how to reduce the smell in your Inucubic Photon. Now there's a lot of great videos out, I know there's a lot of great videos out there that use ventilation systems, fans, uh, tubing, hoses, cabinets, and there's nothing wrong with those. Those are great. It does filter out the smell. But you know the reason why the Inucubic Photon smells so bad is because of a little fan that exists inside of here. So, toward the back of, let me remove the vat. This little guy way in the back on the right your left, my right, or my left, your right, whatever. There's a little fan that's back there. It's actually what's called a ventilation fan that has this wondrous carbon filter that filters out all the smells so you don't smell anything. Which you do, because it stinks, especially if you're using something stinky like any cubic resin or other resins that have a really acrid, horrible smell. And it drives your family crazy and you have to put your printer out in the bedroom or out in the garage in the freezing cold weather or... But you don't want to do that. So, did you know there's really no reason for this fan? Now, I know some of you are going to say, Garrett, well, why did they put the fan in there in the first place? Well, it was supposed to be used as a ventilation fan to vent the fumes. But all it really does is it pumps the fumes out into the room because what it does is that fan blows out the bottom through a carbon filter. You'll notice I'm making quotation marks with my fingers. A carbon filter that supposedly fills the smell, filters the smell out, but it doesn't. So, what we're going to do is we're going to remove the fan and replace it with this guy. This is a cap that I designed in Tinkercad and I'm going to place a link to this cap in the description below. It is on Thingiverse and I've got the cool little Photonsters logo and all it is is just a little cap with four screws and what we're going to do is we're going to remove that fan and we're going to pop this in there and what it will in essence do is prevent the fan from blowing the stinky fumes into the room. So this will greatly reduce your stinky fumes from your inner photon. Let's get this fan out of here. Let's do it. Okay guys, the first thing you're going to want to do is make sure your inner photon is unplugged, the USB stick is removed, and what you'll want to do is open the cover don't bump into the camera. And then if you'll notice down in the lower right hand corner, I'm going to zoom in here, you will see the ventilation fan. Now I've already conveniently removed the screws. What you'll need is an, um, you'll need an Allen wrench to uh, remove these screws. I only had two, one in each corner. Yours might have four. I only had two on mine. So, first thing you want to do before you do anything, get you a piece of cardboard or foam, place it over the LCD screen so you don't end up dropping an Allen wrench or dropping a screw and cracking the LCD panel and um, yeah, pretty much having a bad day after that. So, don't do that. So, what I did, I removed these two screws and the fan uh, 
shroud or uh, the fan guard, I guess, is just sitting on top. So I just took the fan guard off like so. And then the fan is just resting on there. So again, I've removed the screws from the fan. Now, in my opinion, the easiest way to do this is get you a pair of the side nippers here and what you'll want to do is I wish I could see, you could see this so you'll want to lift the fan up you'll see these wires coming out of here now I've already removed the you see that it looks like there's a hole down in there well it's because I removed this foam pad this is all that is I mean this is supposed to be the carbon pad it's just a piece of black foam that's supposed to remove the smell and it doesn't do really anything so anyway this is going bye bye so again the easiest way in my opinion to remove this fan is to slowly take the fan out pull the carbon pieces out get you a piece of these snippers go down grab a hold of the wire cut the wires I would separate the wires a little bit because they're gonna be cut flush the fan the fan will be resting on top of the um, fan will be resting on top of the unit and what you'll want to do <clears throat> I'll use this as an example you'll take it your nippers clip them flush and you can see I mean it's complete they're completely flush so you're not gonna have any issues with wiring you should be able to peel these apart with your fingernails like so of course you're going to be down in your in your um, photon when you're doing this take you two small pieces of electrical tape sticky side lay it underneath one wire sandwich it over the top take the other piece put it underneath sandwich it over the top make sure it's press down on both sides and that's it shove those wires back down in the hole and then you're done now I've actually removed my fan so I'm taking it out and what you'll want to do is you'll get the the cover that I uh, uploaded on Thingiverse it'll be in the description below this video and you'll see there's a little tiny notch right there that's gonna go right next to this bolt here so all you really got to do is pop that in like so boom you're done in fact you really don't need to put the screws back in because I mean it's in there it's in there pretty good but just for the sake of I don't want any smell to leak out I'm gonna put these screws back in so okay I've got one screw started and I'm gonna get the other one started. I've only got two, so I'm gonna put them just in the I'm gonna put them in the corners here. Let's screw those down. And these they go in really easy. I mean you could screw them all the way down to hand tighten them first. And then um I wouldn't really be cranking down on this. You know, depending on what kind of resin you use. I, I use my um FDM printer to print this and then I coated it in um, Krylon crystal or Krylon triple thick glaze and I actually printed the photonsters um, the photon the photonsters insert here so this is actually um, printed the green on my FDM printer that was recessed and then this black piece is separate that I just glued in here and then I coated it so Anyway, this is this is in tight, so no resin smells should leak through that hole. And again, what the, what was doing is this this or what is happening is this fan is blowing the air that's in this chamber out this hole that supposedly is being filtered by that little piece of foam that I showed you earlier. This guy is supposedly being filtered by this, and it doesn't. All it does is just blow resin stinkiness out into the room so that's how you do that that's the easy way 
that's what I would suggest because if you're not comfortable getting inside this machine, I would not attempt it because there are things you can screw up. Trust me, ask me how I know this, especially with the ribbon cables. Um, close this up. So, if you want to attempt to do this, there are two there are two screws, one here and one here. These two screws will have to be removed and then there are a screw on the bottom on either side, this side and one, let's see this, one here and one here. That has to be, those have to be removed. So those two, four, six screws have to be removed. And then this bottom piece, when you lay it down on its back, will zoom out here. You lay it down like so, this bottom piece will fold open. It's not hinged. So don't think it's hinged. And there's this LCD panel is connected to a ribbon cable on the system board in here. And there's another L there's another ribbon cable that is connected. And if, if you don't do this right, and because this thing is real kind of wonky, when you open this up, the only thing that's really holding this is, is one of the ribbon cables. And unless you detach the ribbon cable from this LCD panel here, um, you could potentially have, have some issues. But Again, if you wanted to remove the fan from here, you would remove six screws, two on the bottom, two on each side, two on the inside like I showed you. And on the board, there is a, um, it's gonna be the very first, you're gonna see these, these connectors like this. I'm gonna, I, I clip this one. But this is the very first connector that's gonna be on your right that is the one to the fan. Um, what I did, just to be sure, is I traced the wires, it's the thin ones. You can trace the wires from, from the back all the way up. Again, if you like to tinker and you're comfortable getting inside this thing and maybe you've done the Z-Wobble fix and you're used to getting inside and out of this thing, by all means, go ahead and try. <laughs> go ahead and do it. But for everyone else that does not feel com comfortable getting in here but wants to get rid of the smell, my suggestion is to clip the wires. Hey guys, thanks again for joining us here on 3D Print Farm. Hope you learned something today. Keep that smell down and lock out that resin from inside that photon. So remember, we'll see you again next time on 3D Print Farm. Bye now. Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to 3D Print Farm. You know what the number one reason was? Hey guys, welcome back to 3D Print Farm. Do you know what the number one complaint is about resin printers? If you guessed the smell, you would be 100% correct. Any cubic photon is no, uh, no slacker to smell. It stinks pretty.